Donald Trump's team wants Republican candidates to give them a cut of their fundraising cash. The campaign is telling candidates and committees that if they use the former president's name, image, and likeness to fundraise, they should give at least 5% of what they get to Donald Trump. CNN Steve Contorno is joining me now. Basically, you use the name, you pay for it. Exactly, Sarah. There was a letter that was sent dated uh, April 15th from the top officials in Trump's campaign saying, look, if you're going to use Trump's name, likeness, and image, then we should get a chunk of that money that you raise using Trump's image. And they, they, they suggested at least 5%. And I say at least 5% because there is this interesting line in the letter that they sent. And let me read it for you now. It says, any split that is higher than 5% will be seen favorably by the Republican National Committee and Trump, President Trump's campaign. Uh, and is, that information is routinely reported to the highest levels of leadership within both organizations. The implication being, if you give a little bit more than 5%, Maybe the former president will even know about it, and maybe the top level of the RNC will know about it. So clearly uh, trying to encourage people to give even more. And look, the RNC is saying we need to do this because there are people who are putting Trump's name, claiming endorsements, putting pictures of him, of their candidates with family members, starting Trump memberships. This can be confusing for donors who think that they might be giving to a Trump-backed candidate or maybe even Trump themselves. And so they want to eliminate any confusion there. But obviously, this is coming at a time where Trump is in a tight race with President Biden in, the, in, a, in, a, in a fundraising cash crunch. He is trailing Biden's campaign and the DNC in, that, in the fundraising push. And this is another effort to get some more money into their campaign coffers for these next five months. It'll be curious to see how this is responded to by candidates. Uh, Steve Contorno, thank you so much. Appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Joining us now is Republican strategist Rita Shaw and Democratic strategist Chris Kofinas. Guys, let's start here. I mean, Rita, what do you think of this ask of down-ballot candidates? I mean, down-ballot candidates, they need all the cash they can get. I mean, would you advise any of them to go along with this? Absolutely not. I would tell them to fight back. I mean, this is not just unconventional. It's not just a business deal. It is almost mafioso-like. And I think, of course, this just tracks with who Trump is. He treats politics just like a mob boss would in many ways. And so if, if anything, this isn't like a show of, hey, you know, this could be party unity, give us a little here. This is putting a little bit too much pressure on candidates who frankly need that money for their own races. We all know the RNC is not coming to help anymore. They haven't got as much cash. So why are you trying to steal from the little guy again, Trump? I mean, it is, I, I, I giggled a little bit, Chris. It was just like, talk about unconventional on the on top of unconventional. I saw in the political reporting, and, and uh, Steve was talking about this too, the Trump officials, they're insisting that the purpose of the 5% split is not to raise money for themselves, but to dissuade scammers from using Trump's brand without permission. I mean, what do you think? Maybe novel fundraising strategy or something more desperate? I don't know if it's desperate. I mean, it could be. I mean, I, I think there's a couple things. Clearly, he's got a money problem. They're gonna, he's gonna lose the money race. I, I think that is already clear. Uh, I, I think the other part to it that I think is maybe the more kind of controlling aspect of this, I think the Trump campaign wants to know uh, who's using his likeness and who isn't, but for a particular reason, like essentially who's on his team and who isn't. And so if you think about this in terms of the entire country, especially in those key battlegrounds, you can almost, you, you can almost kind of reverse engineer all right, in some of the key races, who's like leaning into Trump, who's running away, and that could help you know, shape their strategy. So I, I think it's bigger than just money, because I think unless they're completely delusional, they know they're going to lose the money race. I think this is more about political control and campaign control. It almost feels like too many backflips to get there. Why don't you just ask the campaigns, are you with us or are you going to separate yourselves from us? Regardless, um, I don't run campaigns.